Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new 3x3 from Chi called the Valk 3. Now this puzzle has been highly anticipated, there's been a lot of build up about this puzzle. Uh, basically Chi has partnered up with Mats Valk and they have made a 3x3 that he has approved of. Let's go ahead, open this up. Alright, so I've been really curious about this puzzle, so let's just go on with, oh it's very greasy, very greasy. Um, let me just get this off. All right, yeah, so there was quite a bit of lube on the outside. Anyways, uh, I'm really interested in feeling it. Uh, it feels interesting. It definitely does feel uh, very light, easy to turn. Um, yeah, uh, so far, I mean, really good speed cube. I'm interested. <laughs> To see how this is going to work out because so much hype about a puzzle you just kind of want it to be good you know and and yes it does corner cut very very well holy look at that look at that boom no problem wow that is crazy that's crazy so let's do a checkerboard see the shades i really like them this green and blue it's a dark blue eh it's uh in a very fluorescent green it actually looks really nice. I like the contrast on this better than any other stock, um, you know, half bright set that's come out before. So let's see, is it going to corner twist? I doubt it. Holy, very hard to corner twist this puzzle, but it's got the same, you know, square corner kind of arc thing here that all the new puzzles are coming out with. It seems that uh, it, it does look very familiar, that's for sure, but it, it has its own feel. I can give it that. So but it, that can also, whoops, also be, um, you know, a result of tensioning and lubing. You change those things, the puzzle changes. So we will see what it's like. But yeah, I can tell you that uh, it's a very good, smooth moving puzzle. Out of the box, it's really good. It doesn't come with a pamphlet. It doesn't come with a thing box. I don't know if they all come with this. I assume so. I'm not sure. This could just be a sample, but um, box fits very, very nicely. So the cubicle sent me this. Uh, I just received it as well as a few other things. So I'm um, really excited to do the review on this. I've been looking forward to it. And first impression so far is it is amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not getting locked up anywhere I go. This is, it doesn't matter what I'm doing here. And that's a really good sign. So anyways, guys, um, I'm going to show you the pieces and then uh, some solves. And while I'm doing that, I'll talk about... Uh, you know my experiences with it because this will be over the next day or so so um, first impressions and uh, yeah anyways let's go ahead and show you those pieces and then come back and talk about it some more so the first thing I want to talk about is the core and center pieces and I also want to say that I think the Valk logo on that sticker looks really really cool it's my favorite logo so far on any cube um, but yeah, the center pieces don't have a stock on them that go down where the screws go, which allows the center pieces to touch the core. And I've heard that makes it kind of a pain for tensioning. The design of the pieces of this puzzle are very, very familiar to a lot of puzzles we're seeing these days. And Chi themselves even made a post saying that all, they recognize that all world-class 3x3 three three speed cubes uh, basically are using the same copy design over and over and over again and it's and that is true you know there's very similar uh, puzzles coming out uh, they all lock together the same as you can see here there's sort of like a double to triple torpedo system going on and this is their version of it and uh, I think it looks really great but uh, overall you know it is true that a lot of speed cubes are just starting to look the same and they just perform a little bit different from each other so I'm going to show you some solves now um, now, when I started solving with this, right away, I was not getting my average. Like, I used to average 17 seconds, and then I went down to about a low 15, high 14. And uh, when I got a hold of this puzzle, I could not get that, uh, you know, 14, 15 average uh, until I filmed these solves. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, yeah, it made me realize that this puzzle is, uh, is very good. It's definitely something to think about if I'm going to change my main at any point. Currently, I'm using the Waylong GTS. This has a completely different feel to that, but as you saw in the beginning, it does not lock up. You can literally have it at any angle and cut right through either direction and also very easily, which is a great thing. And Kevin Hayes did a bit of a review on this as well, and he said, in his opinion, this is the best 3x3 ever made, 
And I think he averages, I think, somewhere around seven or eight seconds or maybe nine. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what Kevin Hayes averages, but he is fast. He's a world-class speed cuber. Um, now, for me, I think that I just get used to a puzzle and I really like it, so I can't decide right away if something is the best for me or not. I actually have to use it for quite a while. Uh, I used the Diane Zanchi, I think, for a couple of years. I was obsessed with that puzzle. That was my main, and since I've become... Uh, more into making reviews. I'm getting my hands on more and more 3x3 speed cubes and they're obviously getting better. Uh, but yeah, I stuck with that one for a long time before I changed. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the solves. Let's finish this up. Alright guys, so it's been a few days since I've uh, recorded everything you just saw. Honestly, I'm on the fence if this is going to take over um, my Waylong GTS as my main. I'm starting to get really used to it. I still prefer the feeling of the Waylong GTS. Um, but like I said, let's see what we can do with this. I don't know if the cubicle is going to make a premium version of this or not. I was talking to uh, Phil actually today from the cubicle and he told me that he thinks this is the best. This is what he uses for OH as well because it is smaller in size. But it's not that much smaller. It's 55.5 uh, millimeters across. It's 82.3 grams. I think it feels light in the hands. Uh, it comes with the uh, GANS half bright screen or the MFG half bright screen. And uh, you can also order custom stickers for this. They're actually the vault stickers um, that you can get on the Cubicles website. Uh, anyways, guys, so I will uh, make a review shortly, a full review on this thing, and tell you what I did to it, if it changed it, all that kind of stuff, if it's going to be my main or not. So if you'd like to pick up this puzzle, link's at the top of the description, a direct link to the Cubicles website for this puzzle. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on my next video.